Doke. Tonight we are doing the um, Swimming Jimmy. Fuck, what is that? I'm looking up. It's an uh, articulated little guy. I forget the guy's name that originally tied it. Usually they tie it with, with two hooks. We're going to tie it a little different tonight uh, on a game changer platform. So um, maybe a little bit more wiggle. Maybe uh, it screws the whole fly up and it doesn't swim right. I, I threw it in a tester tank. Looked pretty good. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to try to tie it tonight. Mm. Brian was nice enough to drop this off the shop. That's a... Uh, it says 90 points, guys, so you know it's good. And it was $6 from Costco, or $4.50 or whatever he said. They have it at Gross Out, so that's nice. That's a Kelly Gallup fly, son. Uh, son, you are wrong. Don't make me get on Google right now. Somebody go ahead and own Hayden there and tell him who it is. Yeah, Alan Sabato or whatever. So um, Kelly Gallup tied it, but it's not his fly, so... Everybody that knows about this fly, take a step forward. Hayden, not so quick there, buddy. Um, so, yeah, it's not a great way to start it off. Uh, a guy, Matt, that comes into the shop. What's the t-shirt? Killing it. Oh, dude, this is, this, this demands a stand-up. This is uh, Seeger, uh, his final tour. There's a long... Long Seeger story in there that we don't have time for, but I was late to the dance with Seeger, and Craddy uh, and Jeff kind of showed me the way in Alaska a couple years ago. So when we were working in the Grand Ron together, we're all fucked up, and I'm like, is he dead? <laughs> you know? He's like, I don't know. So we Google searched him, and he was on tour later that year. Um, so I bought tickets, and then I showed Skinny Bones some songs and she's like yeah this guy's good I was like fuck yeah so we went and saw Seeger I had to get the shirt that's got the eagle and a bunch of other bullshit on it and all the tour dates on the back very comfy t-shirt loving it so Seeger uh, Sam says what do you catch with that with the shirt nothing with this fly I mean you could you can catch brown trout with it I'm sure because they eat everything you can catch bass with it uh, this is just like a little rainbow trout imitation obviously it's, it's it looks pretty thick three C's, but when it's it's in the water, obviously it slims down. It's just marabou and then some deer hair. Um, the way they tie it, they like shape the deer hair on top. So you can see that the hook point's kind of coming up here. Well, you can't really see that, but it comes up here. Uh, you have to bend the hook. So they tie it on a size one. I think it's a little small, so I'm tying it on size two odd. But you can see it's a straight shank hook. I'm going to light it with a lighter, take pliers and bend it. So, like the Jews Priesties, yeah, there we go. I mean, it's, it's pretty close, but Seeger. So, oh fuck, I almost spilled. So that, that's what it is. So, having the deer hair sideways like that, the, it does ride hook side down. Uh, Hayden said he was having problems with it spinning. Mine didn't, so I just got lucky or whatever, I guess. But when you strip it, since it's deer hair flat like that, it kind of floats up to the surface and does a little dance. Whatever, guys, it's, it's a streamer. Tie it if you want. Don't tie it. Drink wine. Scroll past this live feed. I don't care. So it is Friday again. Always Friday. I've got a bunch of wine. I'm going to drink most of it. If you got some of this shit lying around, the uh, whatever articulated fish spines, we're going to be... We're going to be using that. And then it's just a bunch of marabou. Any green will work. Any marabou will work if you're just actually tying along. If you're one of the three people that ties along. Um, it's cool though. I like it. I like the articulated stuff. You know, we're kind of getting into the peak. Peak of winter steelheading, meaning like people are actually catching one uh, here and there. Tie the fucking fly. Um, shut the fuck up. How about that for a response, Andrew? Yeah, I'm not tying on my channel. You, you've been here before, right? This is where I just bok, 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 talky, talky, I drink my wine. Out of my metal straw, 
I have a good time. And um, then I get pretty drunk before I even start the time. Can I do that? Can I take my time doing what I want to do, Andrew? Thanks. My buddy Nate says, without getting boozed of this, does the brand of hook matter? Oh, without getting booed on this? Whatever, I know what you're talking about. No, it doesn't matter. Something, like if you have a B10S stinger, like the, the, the straight eye, big gap hook, that'll work. A size one, or any straight shank hook. You could tie these little micro guys on like a, a trout streamer, 3X long by whatever. You know that stupid woolly booger hook or whatever. Um, you could tie it like that. You could tie it like Kelly does. We're on a first name basis. Kelly Gallup and I. Just kidding. No fucking clue who I am. But you could tie it like he does. I just wanted to do something different. And I like the game changer platform. I like all the spines and how they swim. Okay. Whatever, right? We're drinking wine tonight. It's, it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, if you've got all of deer hair, white deer hair, if you've got some deer hair, you can tie it. If you've got some type of like shoulder, little material, plain chocolates, finesse, body finesse, it doesn't matter. Estes works, chenille works. All these things can be interchanged. So you, you've heard me say that before. Like just because the recipe is like, oh, like it uses this, um, you don't have to use it. Just use whatever feather. I think a lot of flies get created just throwing shit against the wall and see what sticks. Sometimes it doesn't work. I tried to ch tie this on like a musky size with like three odd, a back hook. It was like this big. I, I tied it last night. I was like, oh, like I'll surprise people. I'll tie like a mega version. Yeah, it took me two and a half hours. And um, the deer hair at the end, I was just pretty fucked up. Didn't go great. It was pretty much a waste of time. I tried not to quit rage. Uh, I do that a lot. Just rage and then quit. Pretty self-explanatory. That's how that works. But I didn't. I just said, fuck this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tie the smaller version. It probably catches more fish. It's easier. And it takes like an hour or so. Somebody said, what ebbs? Exactly. I don't know. Tying a monker. Is that, what that's, is that what that's called? I don't know. Oh, that's your fly, right? He's got a pretty sweet little fly. It's like a muddler. It's got a rabbit tail or something, whatever. It moves. It looks good. So we're going to do that in like six minutes. That'll give me enough time to drink this. Um, my buddy, I think, I don't know if I already said this. I'm old. My buddy Matt that comes in the shop, he's a guy in Alaska, brought me a sick shirt, said, Steelhead tastes like shit, which is just funny. Um, because they do change my mind. Don't talk about summer steelhead right now. Oh, if you put summer steel in the barbecue, I don't fucking care. Even if you're, don't eat steelhead unless they're hatchery, but still it's gross. Just throw them back. Somebody else is going to catch them. You killing that steelhead is not going to single-handedly save any steelhead runs. Okay. The, they're not great. Um, we need to do other stuff to have runs be better. Bonking a hatchery fish. You're like, oh, I'm doing my part. Not really. Anyways, two cowboys in here. So many cowboys. I already forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. So he brought that shirt in. I was like, great. I'm going to wear it for Friday Night Flies. It's funny. And uh, first glass of wine today. Didn't have the straw. That's why. Always have a straw. Dumped a fucking bunch of red wine straight down my shirt. Pretty Probably ruined that shirt. I'll, I'll wash it. I'll see if it comes out. Uh, can I eat them on the Great Lakes? I don't know. Can you eat what on the Great Lakes? You can eat whatever you want on the Great Lakes. Oh, can you eat steelhead on the Great Lakes? I mean, if you like to eat rainbow trout, I don't like eating trout or steelhead or anything. I like saltwater fish, halibut, albacore. I'll, fucking, I'll eat albacore all day, tuna, whatever. Eat, do whatever you want. You want to kill steelhead, better hatchery, do it. It's not going to... Something I told Jack today that's helped me a lot. I've heard that carp tastes good, though. I mean... There's a, there's a nationality that eats carp. I'm not going to say who it is, but they like them. So whatever, maybe there's something to it. But what I was saying earlier, and by earlier, I mean literally five seconds ago. 
I was saying to Jack, there's some uh, drama in the fishing world. I'm not going to get into it, but about a certain fly and what it's named and all that stuff. And I was going to weigh in, and then I was like, you know what I've been doing lately, Jack? That's really helped me to become just less angry and just more enjoyable to be around is when I'm about to react and just be like, let me throw my two cents in. I just think for just one second, do I fucking care? Do, do I give a shit? Do I really fucking give a shit at all? And most of the time, 99% of the time, the answer to that is no. No, I, I don't care. Why am I weighing in on the subject? I don't, I don't care about them. I don't care about their fly. I don't care about the name. I don't care about the article. I don't care. So move on. Just move past. Just move on with whatever you're doing. See it, read it, and be like, you can have an opinion just wash over and then just go about doing whatever you're going to do. My buddy Ryan says, wine and straw, huh? Is the straw to avoid mustache drops? Bingo, you got it. I've been growing mine out and I have to wipe after every sip. Yeah, don't do it. Get a straw. Get a metal one so you don't have to throw it away and you can wash it. Also, I think you get drunk quicker. Not that anybody needs that, but whatever. What's the fly? Come on, buddy. Well, come on, buddy. You should have been here earlier. Okay? Fuck. It's a swimming jimmy. It's going to be on a hook that we heat up with a lighter and melt. This is not tied on two hooks. It's on the game changer because it's me likey. And it's got some deer hair and some other shit. We're going to do that in like two minutes. So we're running out of time. Oh, what up? Kinsley's in the house, y'all. Kinsley in the house. Hey, if you guys are going out to Montana, here's a pro tip. Um, book Kinsley and or Ricky. Maybe do a day with Ricky, do a day with Kinsley. Um, they're great on the sticks. Funny, great to have in the boat. They're super fishy. They know the water really well. And they're in Missoula, Montana. So, Kinsley Scott. I don't know Ricky's last name because everybody refers to him as Ricky Bobbers, but he's, uh, he's a stick. He's actually going to be one of the guides on the Skagit trip that um, I'm hosting at the end of March that we're all going on. Super stoked. That's a great group of guys. So excited to hang out with him. Um, no, the fly you don't want to talk about. The fly I don't want to talk about. I don't know. Oh, no, I'm not going to get into that. I, again, I... Thanks, man. Back at you. It's, oh, Ricky Davidson. There you go. Or Ricky Bobby. He's, <laughs> he's, he's got it. Uh, I'm not going to get into the fly discussion because, like I just said, I thought about it for a second. Do I care? Do I give a shit? I don't. So I just, I'm going to move on with it and I'm going to enjoy my life and not get caught in a bunch of drama bullshit. I'm 41, people. Okay? I'm 41. I think it's time to just be like, yeah, I don't give a shit. Let everybody else argue. I have better things to do, like tie my flies and drink wine. Uh, heard the Skagit sock is closing early. My grapevine is often full of shit. So, uh, yeah, I heard the, like, the the Queets and the Quinault and stuff in OP is closing around, like, the 8th of, of March. I don't think the Skagit is. I don't think the Ho and the Soul Duck are. Cat, cat is Cowboy. Colby, my friend. I don't need to call him by his Instagram name. Ugh. He, we talked about it today. He looked it up. Exactly, PDX on fly, whatever. Yep, yep, close, don't come. Yeah, don't go up there, anybody. I'm just gonna go up there um, just for a road trip, just to go up and just, just kinda hang out. Everything south of the hose is, everything south of the hoe is closed 3-8. Queers is closed, that's unfortunate. I'm sure you meant tweets. Well, whatever. If it's closed, then I'll fish around here. How do I hire you for a guy? How do you hire me for a guy? Like life guy, life coach? It's my new shit. I mean, I would probably just go to my Instagram. There's a website on there that I built that's mine, and click on it. That's, what I, that's how you hire me. Or just DM me on Instagram and say, hey, take my money. And I'll go, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll take your money. And then I take you fishing. Ken said, Skagit, Sock, and everything north of the O is open as of now. Oh, great, whatever. If it's not open, if it's open, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna go fishing somewhere. Ta-da, we're going to do it. Life coach, I'm in, yeah. Yeah, do you want your life to fall to pieces? Come see me. I'll take your life, mash it up into a tiny ball of trash, and discard it out the window on the freeway, going 90 in the slow lane. 
never to be seen again. Congratulations, that will be $100,000. Stash coach, that, that I could do. If you've got the, the base of it, like if you, when you start to grow out a beard and you don't like the way it feels and it's just like, there's like thick stubble all the way, you're, you're the dude. If it's like the cookie crumbs, I, I can't help you. I, you, you, gotta have, you gotta have the genes, okay? But we can do that. Look, I'm already, it's past seven. This is not gonna go well, guys. It's just, it's not gonna go good tonight. I can already tell. I'm not hot, I feel good, but it's just, I know it's not gonna go well. So I'll see you there, you know the deal. I don't, do I need to say like, psh, 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 go to at NWFFO? You, you, everybody knows what the fuck this is, right? I need my life to be fucked up a little. It's too perfect, well, hang out with me, it'll happen. Um, guys, 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 let's flip it over. Flip it over to Northwest Fly Fishing Outfitters, or don't, I don't care. Maybe you just came to hang out for 15 minutes. That's, that's fantastic. I, I don't give a shit either way. I, like, again, I tell Jack, if no one shows up, I can stop doing these. I, I can stop doing them, which is what I want to do. My buddy Jeff just talked on there. Last shout out, if you go down to Louisiana, or if you just want to catch a fuckload of redfish, and you don't suck at fishing, then contact Jeff, because he's not going to take you if you suck. Um, he, he's not going to yell at you, he's just going to just shake his head from the polling platform and be uh, real disappointed in you. But if you can hit, like, a, I don't know, a 10-foot circle every now and then, um, he'll take you. So, I'm logging off. Sorry. Get, just type in, use your finger, pop, 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 and, and type in NWFFO. That's Northwest Fly Fishing Up There. Whatever. If you don't, I don't give a shit. I'm going there now. I got soup. We'll see you there. Oh, fuck. The first part went pretty good. I did like the intro, and then I kind of felt like that was good enough. Like, I could just stop. I'm not going to forget the straw. Thank you. I'm going to use the straw. I like the straw. Don't talk about the straw. The straw is stained. That's the wine I just told you about last week from Costco. No shit, Nate. Oh, well, fuck, man. Great minds think alike. You bought it. Brian bought it. I'm definitely going to buy it again. I I really like it. Uh, it's, yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. It tastes good. What are we doing? I, I don't want to do it. I don't want. I just, I don't want to do it. I want to, um, I don't know what I want to do. I want to go carp fishing, really, is what I want to do. I, I tied a bunch of carp flies and I got all jacked. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, it's going down. And three months. My buddy Jeff said, me and Ron driving back from the sheepy 10th place right now. That's not bad, Jeff. Um, that's not bad. Um, don't do it. Everybody said, just don't do it. How America is your shirt? It's pretty America. We covered this earlier, but it is, it's a, it's Bob Seeger. Seeger, bro. It's Seeger. Ah, carp. Great Lakes is the best. I mean, I don't know. I've never fished in the Great Lakes. My buddy Drew guides out there. He's the shit. Carp are the shit. Carp are fun, man. What's up, Cam? Hey, bud. Um, they're fucking rad. They're really strong, and I like sight fishing. I'm into it. Uh, I love steelhead, obviously. I like a bunch of bunch of fish. That's why um, I started the website Flyfish Portland. So I did find out something. YouTube's fucked up. All the all these uh, uh, Friday Night Flies from now on are gonna be on YouTube. I, I film them on my camera and edit them. All, all for you guys, all for you. But some people have messaged me, and by some I mean two. And they're like, oh, I'd like to actually tie the fly. But you're just like, you're far away, that you can't see the vice that well, you're all fucked up, shit's stupid. Um, can you do another one? And I was like, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not gonna do that. And by yes, I mean absolutely not. I'm not gonna sit here and tie another fucking fly for you. Who, who the fuck are you? I'm not doing that bullshit. But, I could, you know, crop it, zone in, zoom in, Jesus, is this how it's going today? Is this literally how it's going today? I, I just, I can't do it. 
Anyways, long story short, bleh, whatever. The, this shit is on YouTube, but you can't find it if you, if you search Flyfish Portland. You have to search by my name. I'm not going to tell you how to spell it. It's on my Instagram. There's a fuckload of vowels. We covered that word last week. Jeff said, remember when you were going to mail me those sheepy flies? Thanks for nothing. Uh, came up with my own. I mean, do I have to do everything for you, Jeff? Do I have to tie the flies that work for you? I mean, I'm sorry that I tied a sheepy fly that worked 100% of the time my first time I fished for him. You've been down there six years. Have your own flies. I mean, that's why he came in 10th place. I'm sure Craddy came in ninth. Just nudged you out, Josh. We salt our roads, salt runs into the lakes, fish come in contact with salt, therefore we have steelhead. That's fucking hilarious. That's a really good analogy of, uh, yeah. One salt fish or like a light, like a light winter in Michigan. Two salt fish, it's like, oh, there's a lot of snow. I had a double salt. Um, he's ready to see the dogs. I got too much shit in the, in the basement right now for the dogs to be a part of it. But, um, fourth coast <laughs> awesome so before we start this and it's not going to go well because it's already what 7 11 i'm never going to finish this fly by eight o'clock um next week next friday which is next week let's just take a break hold on it's not stuff is not coming out of my mouth right it's a big blast oh, oh okay next week um Skinny Bones is making a official showing. So Skinny Bones is going to be tying the fly next Friday here on Friday Night Flies. She's going to be sitting right here. I'm going to be sitting next to her. I'm going to try to walk her through it. Um, she has, in full disclosure, tied two flies before, about four or five years ago. She tied a couple sylvanators. Um, throw out ideas at the, end of, at the end of today of flies you want to see her try to tie it, we're only gonna pick one I was like oh just be like another marabou tube or like a rabbit fly or whatever it's the, the fly doesn't matter it's her trying to get through me um, constantly critiquing but um, but yeah just just throw out some ideas at the end not not now I don't want to field fly ideas but at the end, like if you're like, oh yeah, like a woolly bugger or, or, or some type of streamer, we're not tying trout flies. I don't tie trout flies. Uh, <laughs> good one, Colby, good one. Uh, yeah, 20 inch game changer, yeah, yeah. Can you do another marabou tube? I mean, duh, I love the marabou tube. People are like, why do you tie so many of them? It's like, because you realize I am a guy. I don't just sit on the Instagram and just pop, 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 toppy, typey, and oh, like, check this out. Okay, now you're going to get me on a, a side rant. Side rant. Um, and I was talking to Colby about this too today. Skinny Bones better not be Colby. Skinny Bones is not Colby. Not even close. You know what I'm really glad we don't see anymore on Instagram stuff? is like the unboxing stuff where it's like, Mail Day! Woo! Mail Day! It's like from like Hatch or like... I don't know, Winston or Sims or whatever, and they like open up the box and have all this shit like, like those companies gave them that stuff. They didn't. They paid for those products um, because I know the people that are unboxing it. <laughs> and they are not ambassadors. They are not professionals in, in, in the industry. They just are on the internet. And so they buy products and then when they get them in the mail, they're like, oh, mail day, I'm so surprised. Are you? Are you surprised by the items that you order online that are now arriving at your house that you bought yourself with your money? Are you surprised about that? Are you excited about a mail day that you got four UPS notifications saying that, hey, your shipment's about to arrive, it's about to arrive, it's out for delivery, it's at your front door, it's been delivered is a uh, are you are you surprised about that no you're not you bought it because people that get free shit i get some free shit occasionally i'm not gonna post it on the internet like oh hey guys i just got these sweet sun hoodies sucks to be you didn't get them for free what a loser look at all my free shit me 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 like that's a dick move like so people that do that are either 
paying for them and no one gives a shit people buy products all the time i see him come in the shop all time hey like what if you what if you bought some spools of thread from the shop and then went home been like mail delivery and then just pulled out schools like yeah we sold those to you like you bought it you bought your shit great thank you for the business but like you bought it um or like a pros like gets like rods you know for free or like waiters or whatever imagine them like unbox and be like oh check out my new shit thanks like sims or thanks winston or thanks loomis you'd be like fuck this motherfucker like why are you rubbing it in, dude? Like, I gotta, I gotta buy this shit. It's expensive. Now, professionals work their ass off and do a lot with the company, so whatever. I'm not gonna get into all that, but like, they're buying it anyway. So I, that's why I said side rant. The people that unbox stuff, just get over it, guys. Everybody knows you bought it. We know you bought it. You bought it. Just be like, hey, I bought this stuff. Look how cool it is. I, I'm getting off topic. It's seven fifteen. I haven't even begun to tie this. Whatever, let's do it. Let's let's get into it. First things first. Get a hook out. Oh fuck! I didn't do that. That's not good. I'm just talking to myself now. Get a hook out. Something big. This is a um, this is a Arex TP six ten. I don't I don't know how they get the names for it. Obviously TP stands for trout predator, but six ten. I don't know what that's for um so anyways that that's the hook it's big it's a big gap it's straight okay you look more like willie nelson every week i mean are i mean are you trying to turn me gay bro because you're, you're saying all the right things i look like willie nelson jesus christ that's the best compliment i've ever got in my life i love willie he's great what we're gonna do here we're gonna put it in the vise that's what this thing is if you don't know that we're going to get some pliers, apparently, these guys, chomp chomp, it's for sure bullshit. I just love the comments because I can't keep up with them, but it's going pretty well. So they say you want like a 30% or a 30 degree bend. I don't know. I dropped out when I was 16. I am not smart. So I didn't go to school after that. So I don't know what that means. But I do know that you want this fucker bent. So I don't know that much down the eye of the hook. Just eyeball it. Just think like, hey, if I bend this, I don't want it back here by the, the point because the, the fish's mouth can't get it. But if I have it way up here... Um, I might as well just buy the 26 degree bent streamer hook, which you can, but from everything that um, I hear from people that tie this fly, you really want like a 30 degree. I don't know what that means, again. So I just grab it, I don't know. I kind of hold on to the hook because I'm parent, ooh, that's hot. That's a spicy meatball. And I bend, that's a lot. Maybe I'll bend it up a little bit. No, nah. so I let it, that's pretty good. Can you see that bullshit? Like, that's kind of what you want. You want, like, however long that is, and that angle, however, what angle that is, that's what you want. Is that, is that, um, is that accurate enough? Man. Can you hear skinny bones? She's just, just yapping away upstairs. Um, I told her I could hear it. You could hear it, and she says, just cha 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 cha. It's you know whatever. It's distracting to me, but hopefully you can't hear it. I think I'll forgive her. Sorry, just tuned in. Did you say you want to fuck her bet? Thought this was fly time. I don't know. I can't remember what I said. That's fucking legit, but cool. Thanks. Twenty nine degrees. Sad. Cam. Fuck you, bro. That is. I don't know what it is. That's what you want, though. You want. Uh uh. You want that in there. So this now you don't need. This is going to get bad. Just go ahead and get that. She's stomping around up there. Stompy, stompy. It's pretty good. Okay. What are we doing here? So, the old pattern. 
it's just kind of like that old school articulate. It's like, oh, big hook in the back, some beads, some wire, another hook, and it has one, one pivot point. Not a huge fan. Was a huge fan when they first came out. I was like, oh, holy shit, articulated fly. I'm going to smash. Here we go. And then Blaine came out with the game changer, you know, I don't want to say profile. Guys, you're dealing with a, with a stupid person here, okay? So I can't think of words. People have to finish my sentences. I'm very worried about the next 20 years. I think I just, I don't know. It's not good. <laughs> Looks more like 27.53 degrees. Kirk, I swear to God, I'm going to jump through this fucking phone. Drinkity, drinkity. It's like, you ever see those TikToks where they like get their boy to fucking... Uh, order a, a pinkity drinkity from uh, Starbucks. That's what I feel like is going on. Plat platform. Thank you, Cam. The game changer platform. Ken says what? I don't know if it says varietal. I just, I just. What are you drinking tonight? This. Have you guys had this? Red blend, Portugal the man. It's fantastic. It's apparently cheap and it's the ninety points. So, eh, whatever. Thank you for thank. For, Thank for you have a 401k through NFN. I don't, there's so many misspelled words and stuff through there. I think you're saying I got a 401k, but I don't. So what we're going to do is I got a bunch of these fish coal spines. This is a 10 mil. Just get the 10 mil, okay? Get the 10 mil, pop it in there. Renzetti makes some game changer uh, jaws that uh, actually hold these a lot better. Renzetti, the, the, the normal jaws can work. Um, but they make some specific ones, okay? Holy shit, all right, here we go. I'm using the GSP thread because if I'm tying anything game changer-ish or big, I like it. It's 100 and it's white, so just, okay, that didn't work. That, that's not how you wanna start. So a couple wraps, what you can do is spin your GSP. It's kind of flat, and so if you spin it, um, puts a little edge to it and so when you wrap it it just uh, grips a little bit better I guess and then you know me I'm paranoid about my flies unraveling so either I put a little bit of zap a gap or I put a um, that's not doing anything or I put uh, some of the UV cure on there and if the zap a gap is glued shut just light a bodkin that's really, there we go, really glued in there. Josh says, I need more aggressive animals on your uh, horta. I mean, I, I honestly, I don't understand the comments coming in. I, I haven't paid attention to what's happening that much. Um, and so I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so for a tail, mock tail, where's the glue stick? Don't have it. T-shirt. Oh, t everybody wants to talk about the sh Okay, last time. Here we go. Seeger. Bob Seeger. Last tour. Came through Portland. Took Skinny Bones. Probably the best show. Best live show I've ever seen. Killed it. I mean, he sounded exactly like he does on his records. Super active, running around the stage the whole time. He was great. And all the people in the show were also great. Had a lot of fun. Happy? Your chest, pal. Jesus. What? What about my chest? Can I not just have a shirt on? Yeah, silver bowl band. There we go. Okay, so I got um, I got that. What are, the mop tail. Jesus Christ. That's all that's going on in this 10 mil, basically. And just... Just tie it in, no big deal. Where'd my, uh, there we go. Got the uh, whip finisher a couple times around because I never learned how to whip finish. Cut it off, and then if you want to throw some more zap gap, you can. When I finish, uh, when I tie stuff off, I usually like the UV cure just a little bit. Just because it seats uh, a lot better. It's real, it locks in. Get out of here. <laughs> oh no. There we go. Oh my god. 
He's tying a barbed wire. Jesus fucking Christ. Sex sells. Red and big tail. I mean, do, are we looking at what we're, t we're typing? Because I just... Oh, red and big tail. Oh, she's saying hey to those guys. Meaning red from Loomis and Mills, big tail. Gotta read between the lines. So we got a 10, right? I'm going to make it a little bit longer because I didn't like how that was so short. That's what she said. Let's get another 10 mil spine. Typically, I'd go to 15 right now, but let's just go to another 10 mil spine, okay? And pro tip with this stuff is leave it in there while you put it in because it's easier to sit that stuff in there, okay? Pinch that 10 mil in there again and... Jesus Christ, that I'm really screwing the pooch. Couple thread wraps, spin it, that alleviates that problem. There we go. Cut that off. You can actually maybe get into the tying portion of this fly. No promises though. Okay. What's going on? Sup, Ken, sup, Red. That guy's 34, and he's saying sup. So just FYI, that uh, Cass Cowboys, 34, saying sup. So that's fine. Is that a mop tail? It is. Yep, good eyes. Mop tails are great. So one thing about the Game Changer platform that you need to know is to have that swim action that you want, you need something on the tail that soaks up water. So if you use just like Saddle Hackler or something, it doesn't have the weight to like kick back and forth. Um, so you want something like this that, that soaks up water or like a piece of rabbit or something like that will even work. Uh, the tying dungeon has really changed. <laughs> yeah, it has. I mean, I'll show you some shit one of these days, Josh. It's, it's awesome. What does spinning do? I, I don't know what that question means. By 34, you mean 12, right? 34, I mean, no. A oh Colby, yeah he's thirty four, and yes twelve probably. I thought you meant me because I did say my age forty one. Age is just a number. I do believe that, except you're just tired more, like right now. So we want to build a little bit of a shoulder, right? We want to start small. It got real big real quick on this one. Whatever. The fish don't give a shit. So, uh, I could put a little shoulder in there. I did last time. I'm not going to this time. So, I'm just going to get some white marabou. And this is kind of nice because, you know, like when you're tying... Um, fucker. When you're tying... Um, like steelhead flies and stuff, you want those big plumes, real wispy. And then you have like the shitty feathers. This fly... Love shitty feathers, because you're just using the berry tip. Um, you're like 16% more Sam Elliott tonight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You guys, come on. Too many compliments. I'm feeling great, though. Thank you. It's nice, you know. You know, for, and not that Josh is giving me a compliment, he's giving me more sarcasm, but one thing I've learned as you get older, you know, like, people give you a compliment, you're like, nah, 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 like, it's fine, like, you dismiss it. Just, from now on, just say thanks. Just be like, oh, thank you. You're going to feel better. They already gave you the compliment. Just accept it and be like, hey, thanks. And people are like, hey, that was a great cast. Don't be like, ah, oh, I get lucky every now and then. No, you don't. You've been doing it for 20 years. You're a Jedi. Some people are like, damn, that was a sick cast. Be like, thank you. Or if you're an artist and you paint a picture, be like, that's amazing. Don't be like, yeah, it turned out okay. Just be like, no, thank you. Acknowledge that you're good. Take their compliment and just say, hey, thanks. All right, Sam Elliott. No, Sam. Sam Elliott's much. Uh, the, the the stash is much heavier. But also, thank you. See, see there. Just a tip. Don't know what that means. As I'm pushing forty, I agree as well. Just accept. The, yeah, just accept the compliments. Okay, here we go. We're gonna just. I. It sucks because I pick like a really good feather. But whatever. It's four dollars and fifty cents. Just get the itty bitty part, okay? And just put it on the side. And just like three or four wraps, okay? 
look at all this feather i'm wasting people will try to figure out a way to like conserve that like oh well if you use it for this that that's fine if you want to i don't give a shit like look at this great big plume like you could do so much with that you know i'm gonna do i'm gonna use literally not even that i'm gonna use <laughs> use that much and i'm gonna throw it away because i don't care i don't care this is what i need the feather for the, the pack of feathers cost me four dollars how much does your coffee cost every morning probably four bucks you probably don't finish it most of the times so maybe you finish it maybe you don't maybe you finish your coffee you're a coffee finisher fantastic congratulations but this is just marabou and people are like, oh, I, I don't want to use that feather. Don't overthink it. Just pick one out. Look, again, fantastic. Could do a bunch of stuff with it. Don't care. Strip it down. And when I'm doing this, not that anybody fucking cares, but on the side, short, on top, a little bit longer, on the side, shorter again. I think this is why I don't have these flies roll is because it kind of has like a little you know, bringing it back to my steelhead flies, it has like a little wing. And so it doesn't want to tilt one way or the other. But like, look at all this feather. This is just driving some fly tires crazy. I know it. Like, oh my God, he's so wasteful. Again, I don't give a shit. I just, I want to tie the fly the way I want to tie it. So there, I got one on the side, one on the top, one on the back. There you go. Good stuff. The feather costs the same whether you use all of it or piece of it, but he said pet, so that's fine. Somebody else says, I finish. I, I, I don't know what that is. Sounds sexual. Good for you. Nate said, once again, I don't care. Yeah, I don't. And somebody says, I know you care, Nate. Where's your go-to car fly? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? It's not a secret. It's basically John Montana's hybrid, except they do a couple things different because um because that's what i want to do <laughs> it it uh it it sinks a little bit better whatever i'm not going to get into it no one cares about cart flies you guys want to see me tie tie a cart fly great i'll do it next month or something they are they are kind of cool though i never thought in a million years if you would have told me you know 10 years ago it's like hey like you'll be like a somewhat successful like steelhead guy and then you're going to lose your shit and start fishing for carp. I've been like, that doesn't make any sense. That None of that makes any sense. All right, hold on real quick. Okay. There we go. Now we're set. But yeah, I would never have thought that. But carp are awesome. They're big. They pull real hard. They're spooky. You get to sight fish for them. Something to do in the summer. It's awesome. Are carp the new steelhead? Asking for a friend. Jesus Christ, David, crack me up. Um, no, but they're abundant. And when it's a hundred degrees in August, and people are like, "Hey, let's go! Like, let's go to the shoots and like chase steelhead." It's like, cool. So you've got two hours between four thirty and six thirty, and then two hours between you know eight and nine thirty or eight and ten. You know, that's it. You can fish a sink tip during the day, but it's like, those fish, they don't like when it's 100 degrees. You know what likes 100 degree weather? Carp. Yeah, yeah, carp and bass. They like warm water. So stop banging your head against the wall to fish for fish that don't want to eat in that environment. Um, first fish I ever caught on a spay rod was carp. What the fuck? Okay, we got to get this thing going. We're, we're, we're losing time. So we've got a 10 and a 10 millimeter. So we're going to bump it up real quick to a 15 just to get a little bit more length going. This is going to take fucking forever. I'm going to be here till like 8.30. Whatever. Throw the 15 in there. Ta-da, you did it. Pop that out. Pop that in. Throw the thread, spin it, because it's flat. You could wrap it around if you want. That's pretty good. Throw some, just a little super glue on there, just so it sticks. And this is where I'm gonna 
start to just put a little bit of shoulder in it. So I'm going to get that stuff. It's, um, you know, that Blaine Chocolates body tubing or whatever. Medium. You can use chenille. Um, you can use Estes if you want. It doesn't really matter. Just something to give it a prop. I'm not going to get anything like that. I'm just going to cut a new piece. There we go. Tie it in. And kind of like a hackle or anything, I, I do palmer it a little bit. I just pull it back. It just helps that stuff stand up a little bit more. So let's see, we got two, three, probably four or five wraps is going to be good. Four. You just want to leave a little room at the front to tie that marabou in. It's going to give it a little, little shoulder. It's going to just fold a little bit there, okay? Easy peasy. I like to kind of stage stuff back and forth. So we're going to um, go kind of like white, green, white, green, white, green, right? This is just a, a damsel nymph marabou. But same thing. Over and over, here we go. We're going to grab that just a little tiny itty bitty. Put it on the side. And we want it to go about halfway over into um, the white marabou. Just so it kind of, kind of fills it in a little bit, right? Okay. If it spins, just kind of spin it to the side again. Then you get another piece. You know how it goes. This one's a little longer on the top. Measure it if you want. Spin it to get it thin. And cut that fucker off. Last one. This is why it's going to take me forever. Oh, that's such a good one. Whatever. We're going to use it. Little tiny guy on the side. Spin it to get it thin. That didn't really great but whatever and that's the thing about some of these um, like articulated streamers and stuff you can kind of manhandle stuff and just throw it in there a lot of it is is the placement of where you put it it's not so much like a, a steelhead fly where it has to sit like perfect right Just weighing in left and right. Okay, then, uh, Christ, where'd it go? Whip finish. You can trim all that bullshit at the top if you want, just like excess marabou. Uh, but it, it kind of gets covered, so you don't have to if you don't want to. I just put a little dab of UV cure where that whip finishes, hit it with the light, and that's pretty much it. You're good to go. All right. So we got, to recap, we have a 10 mil with the tail. We got a 10 mil with a little bit of white marabou, and we got a 15 here. We're going to do, God, I kind of want it still longer than that. We're going to do one more 15. This is going to take me, Jesus Christ, I'm going to be done at like 9 o'clock. We're going to do it anyways. We're going to do one more 15. Is this carp fly? Is this carp fly tying Friday? If you can get a fucking carp. Actually, they'd probably eat that. Nah, it's too big. But it's gonna turn into carp tying very soon this summer. Because you know what I'm not doing? Again, is chasing steelhead all summer. I fucking hate it. And you know what I don't like is um, ticks and rattlesnakes um, and a bunch of sun and me just casting and casting and casting when I very well know that guess what steel don't like fucking sun and it being a hundred so I am going to go chase bass and I'm gonna go chase big ass carp I'm gonna sight fish to them and if I can figure shit out 
I'm going to guide it in 2022. Is that okay? This fly catches carp. <laughs> I don't want to tie the rest of this fly, guys. I mean, can we just cut it off right now? i got 20 minutes left. Can I just, just say, hey, it's... It's going to look like this, and then just hold up a finished fly. I'd love that. I'll, I'll do my best. Okay, I'm going to get some medium chenille or whatever. This is, again, chocolate's body tubing. I'm just tying in a little bit of it just to kind of give it a prop. I'm going to pull it back as I go forward. It's not great. We have been at the front. That's good. Tie it off. That's it. Okay. okay. Sam the cameraman. Hard yes. Red said no one will know the difference. So bass flies are next. Yes, bass flies and carp flies are next. March is the last steelhead marabou tube Friday night flies. You want to catch some bass? Finish that fly. Yeah, no shit. Thank you. <laughs> no shit. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to... want to move through it. Okay. We're doing it again. So, now, ta-da. What do we do? We go, we went white. Now we went that kind of green. Back to white. A little bit longer, though. You don't... You really don't... Okay, this is serious shit, guys. Should I return all my summer steel and stuff then? Um, yeah. Yeah, you should. No, I mean, get out there early, whatever. Go fish. Do whatever you want. I chased that shit for years. Need some golden bone flies soon. It's gonna happen. I'll do the carp thing. Oh, shit. Milkweed. I'd like to catch a bass. Call me, dude. You got my number. I'll take you out in Willamette. Let's catch up. Be awesome. Um, all cowboys and sheep. At, relate, at or Everybody's fucking dyslexic. Here we go. You real shit. You don't want that marabou to go all the way over this because, like, why the fuck did we tie this to begin with, right? We don't want that olive marabou covered. So just like halfway, just you're like, oh yeah, it's halfway. That's all. It's not rocket science. Just halfway. You could spin your thread to get it a little thinner. Okay. There you go. Hold on. We're gonna refill. Two seconds, people. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you just want to cover that little bit of olive. Okay. So we're just gonna, uh oh, cut that off. And you could do a lot better, a lot better job than what I'm doing. I'm sure there's fly tires out there that's like this guy's a fucking hack. Yeah, I am. Sorry. Why are you watching me then? Go do whatever else you're gonna do. Okay, one, two, three, I don't know, how about Friday night? So I don't, I can't keep track of you guys, okay? I can't do it all. Here we go. Another white feather. Shocker. Again, you want it a little bit longer on top, but not that much longer, okay? Just a little bit. I do like to spin this guy. It makes it easier to wrap. One, two, three. Four, maybe. This is a pro tip if you really want to be a good fly tire, which I don't give a shit. Just spin the marabou. It tightens it up. Then you can get your, your uh, scissors in there and just kind of cut that off. You're good. Okay? One more feather. Pick any one. I'm sure it's going to be the best feather in the bunch. And there it is. Look how good that is. And I'm going to waste it on literally... That much probably even less stick it on the side spin it over the top pull it you get like three turns it's pretty much good I, I usually throw in a couple extra afterwards but three is a good starting point there we go okay we got the white in 
Wit finish it, wherever that went to. Maybe one more just to be sure. Get a little UV cure just at the top where that that um, wit finish was. Okay. Uh, it something. Can't keep track of you guys. So let's go. Are you waiting for carp or targeting them from? Are you waiting? Uh, I I I did wade fish for him for a couple years. It sucks. Um, you're going to be a lot more successful with the boat. So that's why I bought a power boat. Uh, maybe two years ago, year and a half ago, something like that. And I've been going out and playing around with it. It's a lot more fun. I'm currently getting a pulling platform welded to my boat sometime in the next month. Uh, so I'll be probably one of the only people pulling uh, the rivers that I live around for carp. Um, finally, a pro tip. Did I tune in for a carp fly? I mean, maybe. But um, it's cool. They, they get to like 20 pounds. Look, people, I love steelhead, but we have fucked this planet to tears and they're not coming back in our lifetime. Maybe if our great-grandkids decide to get their shit together and fix stuff, yeah, they have a shot. But, like, right now, no. Everybody's just fucking doing this. Like, oh, no, you're the problem. You're the problem. And, ch -ch 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 -ch, and it's not going to get fixed. So I want to catch fish. So I'm going to fish for steelhead at the peak times. And then the rest of the time, I'm going to go chase other shit. Okay, this is looking kind of good. I'm happy. So now we're going to go to a 20, okay? Shirt is fucking spot on. Thank you. It is... Um, Seeger. It's all about Seeger. You can do a, like a, a dual hook setup, the uh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You can do two, you can just do an articulated. Again, I, I decided to tie on the game changer platform because I just, I like the way they move. But you do have to watch your taper, meaning that's why you want, you want the marabou to not touch the next marabou all the way across. Do you want it to kind of, you know, look like that or whatever? <sighs> does anybody give a shit? Is it, I mean, is it, does anybody fucking care that I'm doing this? Can I just drink wine and we can talk about, I don't know, stuff that makes you happy. I mean, the last trip you went on or maybe a big fish that you caught. I, I don't like doing this. <laughs> Tell you what, buddy, come out to northern Michigan and I'll show you where 20 to 40 pound carp swim by the thousands and no one guides or fishes for them. Sure thing. I mean, okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Hey, nice shirt. Thank you. I do, I do. Seeger, again, I do like the, the Seeger shirt. Uh, Cam, this guy Cam right here, you guys can't see it on the YouTube later, but this guy Cam, I took him and his buddy Joe fishing. They fished 16 runs. Um, winter steel hitting. Have you fished 16 runs in one day of winter steel hitting? These guys were fucking mowing through water. Four step in the whole way, just fucking <laughs> good casts over and over. Everybody has bad casts, but the majority just boom, 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 turned over. We didn't touch a fish. 16 runs in a 10 hour day, nothing. So yeah, I want to do other stuff. Okay. Tell us about your recent fish that got you stoked. Tell us about your... I mean, I, I don't get to fish anymore. I just guide, which I, I really enjoy too. But um, honestly, it was probably last June I found a little flat on the Columbia. And I just was like scouting. And there's like six carp cruising. It was like a 15-pounder in there. Made a good cast. Watched him tip his tail. Sucked it off the bottom. Straight to the backing. That's, that's what converted me to, to carp fishing. Um, some inspiring words about nature. No, we've fucked that to tears. There is no nature anymore. It's all gone. Uh, I'm goose hunting tomorrow. I don't fish anymore, but I'd go carp with you. You have a walleye program yet? No, I don't. No, Rob, but uh, I'll take you carping. Uh, anyone who hasn't done it, DM Eric and schedule a trip. It was a blast. Thanks, Cam. Many thanks. Yeah, I mean, schedule a trip or don't. I, I don't care. I just, I want to take people fishing that want to learn. I'm not going to guarantee you a steelhead. I, I won't. I won't do that. Um, there's just not enough of them out there. You have to be, you have to get really good or be really lucky uh, this day and age. 
Um, there's just there's just not that many of them out there anymore. Um, and so throwing that bullshit cast is not going to get it done. So if you want to catch one, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of good guides out there. Um, you know, Brian Silvey, Nick Rao, Sam Sickles, Ted Neely, Travis Johnson, um, just to name a few. They all can do the same shit that I'm doing um, and teach you how to present your fly and be out there at the right time. That being said, I don't want to do that in the summertime. Fuck that shit. Um, point in what I was saying. I want a good guy to come here and do well guiding for carp. Summer. Well, I mean, yeah, tell me when. I'll fly out there. I got miles, dude. Cam said, yeah, good point. If you're an asshole, don't DM Eric. Yeah, I won't take you. Fuck that shit. But I do want to come out to um, Michigan and, and, uh, and chase some carp like that up there that big. So, okay, look, guys. We've got white, olive, white. We're going to go back to all of them. I'm tying this medium chocolate's uh, body chenille in. We're just going to wrap it forward. Okay? This is the last piece that I'm going to use medium on. After this, we're going to go large because we want a bigger shoulder. You just It's all about the taper. and I mean, it's hard to explain, but... That's, it's really important. Otherwise, the fly won't swim. It doesn't look great. There's issues, <laughs> I guess, to say the least. So just keep wrapping it forward until you... I'm bad with lengths, I told you. It's high school dropout. I don't know, until there's a little bit left before the eye. I can't help you with that. Just experiment. Cut it off. Pull that back. Thanks so much. Dude, I would be all about going to the East Coast for stripers, tuna, and mako. That sounds sick. I'd be all about that. It sounds terrific. So, we got a little bit more of a shoulder. We're going to get that. It's, it's, I actually do like this color. They call it damsel nymph olive, whatever. But it's just, it's cool. It's like a, a light green. Um, same shit guys, right? We want that marabou to cover about half of the, the previous white marabou. So like right about there sounds good. Spin it, the thread to get, so it's not flat. It just digs in better. Give yourself like three wraps, you're good. We're gonna, we're gonna trim it some more. Get another feather, pull out, whatever, it doesn't matter. Now the top. We want it a little bit fuller and a little bit longer, almost to the end of the, the white marabou, so that's about good. And then we can spin it too. That's what's nice about this GSP. You can fucking reef on that stuff and really pull to lock stuff down. You don't have to worry about, um, about breaking thread. Oh, but you do have to worry about cutting thread if you're a dumbass dipshit like myself. So let's see if we can salvage that. I'm gonna pull some of that out. Before this gets out of hand, I'm just gonna place it right on top. Couple soft wraps. Everything's real delicate. Don't wanna fuck the pooch. Okay, so I can see that I'm blowing that stuff away. It's fucked. See all that? That's fucked. But we can save this side one. Yeah, see, pulling on it, that's good. All right, we saved one part. Yeah, I mean, GSP, it's, it's pretty indestructible, except when you come to a pair of scissors. All right. So, Let's try that again. Just a little bit thicker on top. There we go. Now let's try to not cut the thread this time. Just pitch in there. That's fine. All right, and one last one on the side. 
there we go and it's going to be a little shorter than the top piece right ok holy fuck I mean is anybody still watching this, this it's just a, a person that is mildly intoxicated off wine trying to tie like a fucking articulated fly that nobody gives a shit about weird question but do you palmer to the front or to the back? Honest question. To the back, so you take it and turn it that way. So you want your, your fibers to turn to full back uh, on this fly. Got any tips uh, for someone wanting to get into guiding? I mean, that's a loaded question, dude. DM me. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the lowdown. But basically, if... If, you, if your family comes from money, you'll be all right. Because if you shit the bed and you don't make any money, you're not going to die. But like, if you're struggling to make money, like if you're trying to make a living, you need to work at a shop to build your business. So I was lucky enough to work at a shop, build my business from there. If you just want to be like, oh, I'm just going to I'm just going to start guiding. I got a business card. I'm going to do it. Like, you're going to be poor. You're going to be real poor. Um, and get ready to not fish. So like, I fish like four or five days uh, winter season, maybe, maybe. I think I'm down to like two right now. So if you like to fish, don't guide because you're fucked. Uh, yeah, don't do a pro tip. Uh, same here, I care. So anyways, I do love my office. I love, uh, I love teaching people. I really dig that, but it's a lot. I mean, do you like days off? Because if you're a good guide, you don't have any days off. So even if you're not guiding, you are cleaning your boat, you are re-rigging stuff, you are getting rods ready, you are tying flies in the basement, you're doing this bullshit. You're, you're always doing something constantly, you know, talking to other clients, like getting them dialed for the trip next week, talking to other people, rescheduling stuff, checking water levels. Like, you're always doing something, like... My days are between 12 and 15 hours every day of doing stuff constantly, trying to get ready for the next day or the next week or the next season. I like to pre-plan. Um, so you don't have any time. So people are like, oh, well, that's awesome. You get you know, 500 or 600 bucks a day or whatever it is. It's like, yeah, but we're working like 20 hours. So it's, a, it's not like eight hours, <laughs> okay? I'm getting mad now. Now I just got mad. Let's just go ahead. I wish I could smoke in my basement. I'd do like a little, like just, just a little smoke break, whatever. This looks really good. I mean, I like it a lot. I really like that color green. Let's just go ahead and finish it, okay? It's 758. We're fucked already. I'm gonna get a size 25. Um, shank, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those pliers, I'm going to cut that, that little circle, that little part right there, right off. Bye. I'm going to hook this guy in, right in there. There we go. I'm going to get my hook that I pre-bent earlier on, if you guys weren't here, I'm sorry. I'm going to pop that guy in there. Put a thread wrap on it, spin it, cut that off, just UV cure that just a, a little bit, <clears throat> just so it locks it in, right? I'm only unwrapping after like three casts. So that's in there, and so what you're going to do is you're going to take that shank that you clipped off. You're going to put it right alongside that hook. And you're going to tie it in. The key to this is the, the back end. Back here, you can't see it because it's just not zoomed in. Um, you don't want too much hanging out off the back end. You really don't want any hanging off the back end. You have this little... Um, just a little kind of loop there, but if you don't close it, 
just a, a bit with your thread, um, this fly wants to foul. It wants to flip over on top of itself. So just put a little um, super glue or zappa gap on that 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 um, the eye that shank loop or shank eye if you want to call it and wrap your thread up it so like here here's the loop if you if you wrap your thread up the top of it right that's what you want to do so it closes it a little bit so you have less of a uh, of kind of a a gap there for that that shank to kind of swing around and bow if that makes any sense which it doesn't terrific okay there is that spinning again why do you do that oh so you're asking about the spinning this thing so gsp thread it's flat and so when you spin it it it, it twists it and it makes that flat thread um a lot narrower and it has grip so when you actually reef on the hook or whatever you're tying it on it has more grip if it's flat it wants to slide it wants to slip if you stack it on top of each other a bunch of thread wraps if it's flat it just goes off so spin that to add some grip pro tip grips material cam knows why uv cure and not just hard as hull i don't know what hard as hull is but uv cure this stuff when you hit it with the fucking light guess what motherfucker that shit is there for life and it happens like this so when i'm messing with marabou and stuff if i put super glue or something on there and then i i'm trying to move materials if the marabou touches it it's it's fucked now look at this look at all this marabou yeah it's all on that uv cure it comes right off right no less mess no stress Run a hose out the window so you can rip some darts without getting in the doghouse, man. Dude, Tyler, this guy's my this guy's my man. He knows the fucking terminology darts. He's talking about hoses out the window. Love it. Now I'll make it. Uh, it's going to take me till 8.30, but we'll do it. We'll, we'll get through it. Okay. You're welcome, Nate. And Cam answered your question. I, I answered it too. I don't give a shit. So, okay, now we're, we're in the big section. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the large and in charge um, body finesse. So, we got that, the larger stuff, right? So, that chocolate's body finesse in the large is going to give you a much bigger shoulder. So, we're just going to wrap that all the way to basically the bend of this hook. That's what you want to do. Just keep moving it forward. And maybe like, I don't know. I, I'm horrible at dimensions, but I don't know, a quarter of an inch, something like that, tied off, because we're, we're going to throw some marabou in there before the deer hair. Holy fuck, this is a horrible idea to do on Friday Night Flies. All right, trade you a six-pack for this gnarly thing. I'll be at the shop on Monday. I mean, dude, if you're on the shop on Monday, first off, I'm not going to be there. But if you come into the shop on Thursday, when I'm there, I'll give it to you. I don't need more flies. You know, if you want this fly, come on Thursday, I'll give it to you. Okay. So we're going to throw that damsel shit back in there because I do like it. So, okay. We're going to get that. Do you think Jack is watching? No. Dude, Jack is, he's so tired. What is it? 8.05? He's asleep already. Totally asleep. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do this time? This is something that Kelly does on a lot of the streamers. I'm going to get two, oh, bonus, two marabou feathers, just so it's a little thicker. And uh, we want it to go about halfway back again, so there we go. So we got that. I'm going to trim them off. No big deal. We're going to get two more. Oh, shit. There he is. Jax. He's still awake. 
Kind of surprised, not going to lie. I think everybody's surprised. <laughs> All right, so. Feathers the fins. Need a pillowcase full of feathers to tie that thing. No shit. I mean, I mean, we're using some feathers, so we got two. We want it. I don't want it super thick on top, but I just want it a little, just a little bit longer than, um, than the side stuff, just because to to get that taper going. That is going to uh, ensure that it doesn't spin on you, right? That's what you don't want is that fucker spin. And then two more. They don't have to be super thick. That's fine right there. And people like measure these out like perfect. I, I, I don't care. Just put them on top of each other. Strip them. Get the length you want tied in. Again, a little bit shorter than the top feather. Do like four turns. Get all that stuff. There we go. Okay. We're almost there, everybody. Trust me, I want to be done more than you. Okay, so what we got here? We got some some good ass articulation. We got a nice taper. Fuck, that looks good. I am gonna fuck this up, 100% guaranteed. Sharpening and maintaining the chainsaw while watching. I just I don't care about you cutting wood down at your house. This part is gonna just be fucked. Okay. I'm going to get real, real loose right now. Because this isn't going to go up. So, get some deer hair. It's got to be white. It could be belly or spinning hair or whatever. It doesn't matter. I hate this belly hair. It's so short, though. Okay. <laughs> this isn't going to go good. This is not going to go good. So, what you want to do to get a really good stack of hair is put this in a, uh, a hair stacker. I'm just kidding. I don't give a shit and I don't do that. So, just put it in twice, pull it tight. There we go. Flip it over because the the white is going to be on um, and top on top, and then the the olive is going to be on the bottom. So just flip it over. Now Kelly, he he trims his collars. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't think the fish give a shit, and it's a lot more work, and I'm not going to do it. Good job. Catch you next Friday. All right, hey Jordan, good seeing you, bud. Skinny bones, Jack. You need to stop talking fish with Eric and start talking about the. Start talking about house maintenance and power tools. Okay, so I'm gonna have to block my girlfriend again, apparently. I'm gonna have to block her right off of this shit. Okay, see this is the problem. It's it's gone, it's gone to shit. The deer hair. But you wanna place it down there. It's not good. Two spins. Just pull all that stuff back. Okay. I guess. And here we go. And just rinse and repeat. This is not good deer hair. I mean, does anybody care? Am I doing this for, for anything? I, I, I don't. Do you ever get sponsored? Did you ever get sponsored? No, Nate. Never got sponsored by Bailey's. And Jack's talking about power tools. Whatever. I guess we're just going to keep tying this fly. Nobody gives a shit. A couple spins. Blah, 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 blah. Baka, baka, baka. I mean, <laughs> I just, I don't give a shit. We've got white deer hair in there. Fantastic. Everybody did it. I guess we'll turn it upside down. Now you got the white deer hair on on the olive side. I don't like that. You can try to get it out of there. It's probably not going to work great. It's 
spinning deer hair sucks. Long story short. So get a little bit more of the olive. But again, nobody's, I mean, nobody's watching this, right? Nobody is watching a man, a grown man trying to spin deer hair. Like, nobody tunes in for this. I don't want to see somebody tie flies. I don't care about them tying flies. I just want to hang out and drink a bunch of wine and talk to people. Jack, I can't be fully in charge of the chainsaws and lawnmowers over here. I need some help. My skinny bones, I swear to God, I'm going to fucking block you again. Chainsaws run much smoother on some JMO. Jack, I'm going to block you too. Caddis, fucking cool beat, saying hi to... Oh, everybody's just going to have... Really? Everybody's going to have a conversation? You're going to have a conversation in the background without me? Everybody's cheersing, and I'm just over here working. Do I just turn it off? This is almost as bad as that other guy's Friday Night Flies. Oh, our, I, I swear to God. Oh my. I swear, I swear to fucking Christ. I can punch some people in the face. Yeah, that's just. That's a bunch of deer hair. It's not, it's not coming out good. Do I need a slice of pizza? No, I'll get it later. I'll bring a six pack of wine for that fly. I mean, the only thing that gets me through the week is, oh, well, I mean, then, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. These flies aren't great, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'd love to, uh, oh shit. I definitely would love to uh, spend some more time with skinny bones on Fridays, but you know what? This one's not going to go good. See how that... This is why I don't tie trout flies. Spinning deer hair is a M effort. By that, I mean motherfucker. Okay, I think we got it. We got enough on there to where... If you push back, it just packs it tighter, so we'll have to actually probably put some more on there. I'm just kidding. I, I do like hanging out on Fridays with everybody in time, but it's a, it's a bitch. I mean, what is it, 8.15 now? Okay. Do you prefer the deer hair or a synthetic, like, fuzzy fiber for the front end? I mean, I don't know. I haven't tried the fuzzy fiber yet. Um, I did a couple... Uh, musky flies with the fuzzy fiber. It's okay. I don't like spinning fur or any of that stuff. I guess it's, it's the easiest answer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Skinny Bones is tying next week. Thank God. I can just sit there and critique and yell, that's going to be great. It's like so much deer hair. So I'm packing it in because you got to, you kind of got to, you kind of got to sculpt it a little bit. Okay, this is the last one. A little bit more olive. It's all mixed in. I was trying to keep it on one side, but it is not happening. It's a lot of deer hair. Okay. That's it. Ta-da, it doesn't look great. No, we're just, we're just getting started on the trimming. Um, Oh yeah, Skinny Bone says she's going to do such a good job. Probably not. And then Jack asked her about her shins because she just got a bow tattooed today. Must be nice. Must be nice. Alright, so I'm going to finish this guy and then we're going to trim and we are going to be done. Hopefully. There we go. That's, 
That's all fucked up. Okay. We good? You could probably just log off now or exit or whatever. All I'm going to do is trim the steer hair and nobody gives a shit anyways. I don't care. I don't even care. It's my fly. It took way too long. Holy fuck. Look at these double sided razor blades. Terrific. So. Must be nice. Yeah, must be nice. Okay, this isn't going to go well. Anyways, no one gives a shit. I'm just going to tell you how to do this, but no one cares. So I'm not going to talk you through it, but you just want to make it flat. You want to make it flat because, because that's the way you're supposed to do it. I'm actually very surprised how well that trim job went um, based on how much wine I drink. That like went like, it actually looks pretty good. to let's put that there for somebody to grab hold of. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I was going to say the same, and then he said same again. That's that's good. You'll get there. Get that in there. Uh, tie it all on, cut it all off. Don't know what don't know what that means. So this turned out pretty good. I'm gonna actually make it even more flat on the front because yeah that's pretty good okay we're gonna final it we're gonna get these big ass eyes we're gonna throw them on there actually turned out pretty good surprising so Two-part process, three-part actually. Get your eyes, stick them on your on your hand. That seems to work pretty good. Just stick them on there. That's the first part. Get your super glue or your Zappa Gap. Put a little dab of it on there. Because if you use UV Cure, it doesn't stick. You have to need the light and then just put the eye right on top now you take the UV cure and just get just around the sides all that shit there you go hit it with the light no big deal doesn't have to be perfect don't breathe that shit in that that smokes off there yeah still going man it's, it's just getting finished. Okay, there we go. Flip it over, zap a gap. There we go. That's gonna, fine, take that guy. There it is. And I'm gonna go around it. That's about it. And it only took me an hour and 40 minutes. Wow, fantastic. Is it going to catch you fish? I don't know. I don't care. 
I'm going to fish it. There we go. I mean, after all the bullshit and the shit talking and sadness, I like it. I mean, <laughs> that looks pretty good. Let's just celebrate. Uh, you've got one person watching. Yeah, well, well, whatever. I don't care. I don't do this for the <laughs> likes. I do it because I like tying flies, and uh, that's it, really. But that that turned out actually pretty well. So we've got the little eye on there. We've got the articulation. We got the mop tail. We've got some shoulder action. I'm actually going to take the scissors and just cut all this because you don't need a shoulder. Um, on the bottom. So that's a pro tip. Let's get in there and just kind of there we go. That's even better. Now you got a bigger little gap on that that hook. So yeah, that, that looks pretty good. I'm going to fish the shit out of this. Four bass, uh, pre-spawn, post-spawn, it's going to be rocking and rolling. That's, that's, uh, that's where it is. Anyways, um, Dave said, nice fly and nice buzz for me. That's big night these days. Yeah, <laughs> it's good times. Um, right on. Thanks everybody for seeing this shit. Uh, we'll see you next Friday where Skinny Bones ties a fly. And uh, sorry about the, uh, the it going long for an hour and 24 minutes, but it took a little bit of uh, time. Anyways, see you next Friday. Right on.